Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So now I'm having a bare face because I'm going to do paint mask challenge using B and soap coloring paint pack. So as you can see from the packaging, it's actually something related to paint, but it's actually a face mask. Look at that, doesn't it look like real paints? So this concept is actually for people who has different skin conditions on different parts of the skin. So you have different types of face masks which targets different skin conditions. For example, the white one is actually for dry skin to seal up the moisture and the yellow one is to brighten up dull skin. The green one is actually to soothe irritated skin. The red one is to energize and revitalize fatigue skin and the black one is for pore tightening, blackheads and sebum control. So it comes with a brush as well and I'm very excited to do this challenge. So actually I feel that the only thing missing is actually blue color. I really hope that it comes with blue color so that I can really do rainbow face. Today I want to be something different. I was thinking of unicorn. Let's get this started. So I've got my heaven rock and now let me squeeze all of these colors to the plate first. So if you watch the texture clearly, you can see that the white one is very solid color. I think the black one is solid as well, while the other three colors look a little bit like transparent. So it doesn't really look like exactly like paint. Now I'm going to paint my whole face with the white color. Using my paint brush. I'm just gonna... Oh, actually it's not very solid color as well. I don't think I will have enough white, so I'm still going to... The white one is actually for dry skin. I'm having oily skin though, so maybe this is only the time that I will use the white. Like maybe next time I will only use the white one on like cheek areas or other parts. So that my skin won't be very oily and too moisturized. Oh my god, I'm getting thicker and thicker on the white color. So normally unicorn has like pink hair I think and like yellow horn. Luckily I have yellow and I can make pink with red and white. So now getting the white into the red. The mix. Oh I don't think it's enough. Oh my god I'm making, making a mess. I'm making a mess. So not artsy. So clumsy. Because I want the pink to be light, I don't want to be like dark. So get adding, adding more white color. I think I really need a lot of white. Oh god, why isn't the white doing anything? Too little. Okay, I think I can spend all my white here because I don't think I'm gonna use it in the future. <laughs> now I'm adding a lot of white. Hmm. I think this should be good. My horn looks good. Now wiping it off as well. So now I think I'm going to need to trace. Trace. Good luck to me. It's quite bad at tracing it because this is not like a pencil. The tracing card. Luckily I did this at the last part because black is going to stain everything if you do it in the first place. So now I'm going to outline my face. I was 
expecting it to be like real mess like the black is not going to be it's going to be everywhere but surprisingly hmm okay this is nice oh, oh no i ruined it oh no oh no i ruined it i ruined my perfect line okay i spend the most time with this chasing I think I'm actually done. No, I think I'm adding more of the pink. I think I should add in more yellow on the face as well. I'm done. This part. I ruined this part. Where's my chin? Where's my chin? <laughs> I don't have chin anymore. Okay, I think I should stop now. Should I add more green? Okay, so that's it for my face mask so I'm going to wait for I didn't see how long should I wait but I'm gonna just gonna wait for 10 minutes because I've already spent like most of the time here <laughs> in this tracing up a unicorn face I'll see you guys later in 10 minutes so it's finally 10 minutes or more I think so while waiting you know, guess what I did like I don't want my pink to go on me so I've added it on my <laughs> more on my neck and added on more on my cheeks as well to be more unicorn niche so yeah so i think i should wash it off now so i'll be back and let you know what i feel about this mask so guys i'm back with my clear skin and i have to say that this mask is quite not bad but then i didn't really use it on my targeted area i'm just playing around with the color so i guess next time i will try it out to see whether it really works on my targeted area i really think that this is quite a great product it's very very fun to play with and i really like this concept and it makes me want to put on masks every week more frequently and i actually think that this because of the colors and it won't be too hard to wash off makes me want to use it overall i give it like a 9 out of 10 yeah! it's not in terms of how good it works on my scene but in overall i really really like this product it's available in altia korea they ship worldwide so anywhere if you want to buy it you just go to altia korea to buy so go and register if you haven't and get the mask so thank you for watching my weird video review which is not very artistic and if you like it please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't and i'll see you in my next video bye